Hi friends, it's Suzanne from sunstampin.com. Welcome back to my paper pumpkin alternative catch-up series. I'm trying to get back on track with my paper pumpkin subscription. I want it to go from this to some beautiful masterpieces. I hope that I can offer you some gentle motivation to catch up yourselves if you're like me. And if you're not like me and you just like the design, why not create something similar with the supplies that you have in your stash? Okay, friends, here we are with the August 2023 Meaningful Flowers Paper Pumpkin Kit. We're on part two. Uh, part one was uh, on Tuesday. And today is Thursday and this is part two. So in this kit, we have uh, sort of like a description about the lotus flower. And there's also um, a description of the forget-me-not flower that was in part one. Uh, anyway, and you can see that like I'm going to try to utilize that uh I call it the ombre card base as sort of my mat. And then I'm going to use the lotus flower as my focal piece. Now, um, I thought I would use a circle for the sentiment and uh, that plant didn't pan out. Uh, and, you know, weird stuff happened. So here I am cutting down this piece. Uh, so the back side I used and it was uh, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then the uh, ombre, the lotus flower piece was three and three quarters wide by five. And at that time, I didn't want, I thought, well, um, I'm not 100% sure if the words are going to show. So I just cut a little bit off each side so that it would be more even. But I end up cutting, like, um, covering it all. So I'm, <laughs> because I have, like, when I first started crafting, I was mixed media girl and I really enjoyed mixed media. And I, you know, this ripping technique um, always comes back. So that's what I did. I ripped off the darker part and like, I'm going to place that right on the Lotus flower printer. Um, I just had to measure to make sure. And um, I cut off some of the lily pads. We are at three and three quarters here. And then I pretty much, um, it, or sorry, three and three quarters wide. And I pretty much made a square. It's like with the ripped pieces, it's about three and three quarters. So I end up putting adhesive on the back and I attach that to the, let's call it the ombre piece. And it gives like a different, I don't know, feel vibe. It's almost like gives it sky, if it will, if you will. And then I came in with um, a stitched rectangle die. I sometimes die cut a basic white card a couple of times. Uh, I can't remember where this came from. Uh, it maybe it's from he all there's dies that are included with he's all that. I'm opening it up to see. No, it's not from that one. I can't remember where it's from. It's very nice though. Uh, anyway, it's just stitched rectangle. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so I cut, um, I put the bigger lotus flower in the front. You can see there's like three things there, um, three lotus flowers. And we like things in odd numbers because our brain likes it that way, I was told. So I put dimensionals on the back of my focal piece. Then I'm putting dimensionals, or actually I'm putting this with adhesive right on my basic white card. And then I will put the uh, sentiment piece. I'll put that on my card with dimensionals. And I'm going to use the clear dots just around the lily pad, the big one. So uh, dimensionals go on that sentiment piece. And I don't know what happened, but I marred it a little bit. You can't see it in the picture, so I don't know when that happened. 
in between um, fil filming this and me doing the voiceover, it got a little smushed. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that is my August 2023 is completed for my alternatives. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.